Hey students, this is Mr. Boyd. Um, today we want to first review slope intercept form where we find that M is the slope, B is the Y intercept. Standard form is AX plus BY equals C where we find the X intercept and the Y intercept to graph it. And today we want to look at one more form which is called point slope form where you actually have a point and a slope. So to start off with, um, let's start off with identifying um, some information in the point slope form. So point slope form is an equation in the form of y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where m is the slope and x1, y1 is a point. Now, one thing to remember is the values of x1 and y1 are opposites of what they appear. So let's take a look at some examples here. So the first thing I recommend is write the form underneath and then like we did with slope intercept form let's circle or uh, highlight some things. So first off I notice that y1 is 2, m is 2, x1 is 5. So that tells me that my slope is 2 or 2 over 1. My point is notice the 5 is with the x, so that's the x value in the point, and the 2 is with the y, that's the y value in the point. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. All right, so over here, write your form. Now, for this to be a plus 2 in this form, this would have to be y minus negative 2. And remember, if there's nothing in front of that, that slope is really a slope of 1. Again, for this to be plus 3, this would be have to be x minus negative 3. So here I can see that my slope is 1. Notice the position. My point, the, the coordinate for y is negative 2. And my coordinate for x is negative 3. So my point is negative 3, negative 2 with a slope of 1. Let's take a look at one more example. Here I'm just identifying each of those with arrows. Okay, so here I'm going to write my point slope form underneath the equation again. Again, for this to be a plus 2, that would have to be y minus negative 2. So we see that my slope is 1 half. My x value is 3, my y value is negative 2. So next we want to look at how can we use that to graph this equation. Okay, so first off I need to identify the information I need. So here I see that my slope is 2, my point is 5 comma 2. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Plot this point right here, 5 comma 2, that's over 5, and up 2, okay? Remember this is x comma y, okay? Next I'm going to use my slope and go up 2 spaces and over 1 space to put the next point. Now I could continue that up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, put as many points on there as I want to, but I really only need two points. And then I'll draw my line. So this is very similar to slope intercept, except we're not plotting the y intercept. We're going to actually plot the point that's in the equation and then use the slope to find the remaining points that we need to draw the line. Okay, let's move on to another example. Okay, now remember we said to remember that the x and y values are actually opposite of what they appear. So this would actually be y minus negative 2 equals 1 times x minus negative 3. Okay, so that's why my x value is negative 3, my y value is negative 2, coming from right here. And then my slope is 1, which as a fraction would be 1 over 1. Okay? 
So next I'm going to plot the point. Um, negative 3, negative 2. That's right here. Okay, then I'm going to use my slope. I'm going to go up one and over one. I could continue to do that again. Here's another point. Here's another point. Just going up one, over one, up one, over one. Then I'm going to draw my line through those points. And that's how we use point slope form. Okay, guys, as always, remember, um, subscribe to my channel and you'll have all the other videos. Okay, here's one more example. Let's take a look at this. Again, I'm going to go ahead and write this in. For it to be y plus 2, that would be y minus negative 2 equals 1 half x minus 3. Okay, so that tells me that my slope is 1 half. My point is 3 negative 2. So again, I'm going to plot the point 3, negative 2 first. I'm going to go over 3, down 2, plot that point. Then I'm going to use my slope and go up 1 and over 2. I could do that again and put another point here again and here. And I'm going to draw my line. Okay, guys, that concludes this video. Make sure you took good notes on this video, and I uh, hope this helps. Have a good day.